Hey, what's going on guys? Today I just wanted to share with you real quick the process I used to get my water line and bottom side of my hall cleaned up. Uh, we had it down to Fort Lauderdale for about 10 days. Took it down to Key Largo. It was in brackish and salt water for, like I said, about 10 days. And when we got back, I had some real dark brown staining on the hall. Uh, I used quite a few different products and I wasn't able to get it clean. So I ended up starting off with uh, just a normal car wash. Um, that was the first product I used. You're definitely still going to want to wash the boat first. You still need to get the grit and stuff off before you uh, can get that stain off. The next product I ended up using was the Dawn P Platinum Power Wash. I use that quite a bit in the cockpit. That works really well, brightens things up, gets uh, grease and grime off the, the gel coat, off the seats, stuff like that. It works really good, I'm happy with it. But when it came to your water line stains, it didn't do a thing. So then I got online, I was looking up different products that you could use. One of the things that everybody was recommending was toilet bowl cleaner and take that and dilute it in water and then spray that on and scrub it off. I ended up going with toilet bowl cleaner diluted in water it didn't touch the stains at all and then i used it straight up with no dilution at all and that also didn't didn't do a thing for my stains um, so then i went with the product that i knew worked and that's going to be muriatic acid this is a very powerful cleaner to say the least um, you definitely have to dilute it I got a couple drops on the uh, black part of my gel coat back here. I'll show you. That was not diluted right there, and it it etched the gel coat really quick. So you definitely have to dilute it. What I ended up going with is just this sprayer here, and I filled it about three quarters of the way with water. You have to add acid to water. You cannot add water to acid. It'll make a terrible chemical reaction. You definitely don't want that. So filled the bottle three quarters of the way with water, topped it off with muriatic acid, and then all you gotta do is spray it on. I wet it first, then spray it on, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then you just take, and you really wanna rinse it off real good. You wanna make sure that you uh, neutralize that acid and get it all off your boat. Um, but then you don't have to scrub. All you do is spray it on, rinse it off, and uh, had really good results. Uh, I'll show you down here. You can see the areas that I haven't sprayed yet. I didn't get all the way under the boat yet. You can see all those white marks where it's sprayed on right there. Sprayed it on, and it just takes all that brown staining off. So I hope that helps you out. Going to be doing a lot more videos this year traveling all over the place uh, got some videos from south florida we're going to be lake erie going over to the lake erie islands kelly's island putting bay south bass north bass middle bass um, so if you want to come along check those out make sure you subscribe um, we're also going to be headed to the finger lakes at some point this year we're talking about doing hilton head going to be uh, trying to document all those trips and share them with you so Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.